On April 29th, Civic Action will welcome 500 civic leaders from all sectors, backgrounds, and experiences to Canvas, our 2019 summit. At Canvas, leaders will come together to roll up their sleeves, harness their creativity, and collectively generate Civic Action's new action plan for five pressing urban challenges. Resilience to extreme weather, tackling affordable housing, preventing sex trafficking, unlocking inclusive leadership, and preparing for the future of work. Thanks to research developed with the University of Toronto's Urban Policy Lab, let's take a look at three myths on sex trafficking. Myth one, this doesn't happen in my community. Between 2009 and 2016, almost a quarter of Canada's police reported human trafficking cases occurred in Toronto's census metropolitan area. 62.5% of cases originate in the GTA. Victims come from all neighbourhoods and backgrounds and new immigrants, LGBTQ plus youth and Indigenous young women are among the most vulnerable. Myth 2. If people from our community were being trafficked, we'd notice it. While we may imagine trafficked individuals as women who sell sexual services on the street, the internet has become the main way people buy and sell sexual services, making it much less visible. Myth 3. Sex trafficking is purely a policing issue. Stopping sex trafficking is something that truly needs a collective approach, including police, hotel chains, universities, community associations, and parents. According to Ipsos and Covenant House, teenagers who report that their parents are aware of their online activity or feel that they can talk to their parents about it, express greater awareness of the risks of being online. At Canvas, senior and emerging leaders will address these realities head-on and paint a new vision for our region when it comes to where and how we live. For more information, visit www.civicaction.ca summit 2019.